Okay. Um, most of us have um, <clears throat> wandered back in, but we're going to get started, and hopefully the rest will um, come in. I assume we're back on the web with our audience outside, and we're glad that you've come back to join us. Um, wasn't that a wonderful morning? I, I don't know about you, but um, I find it extremely stimulating, but also I find my mind is sort of buzzing with, uh, you know, what does that mean for us? And, and I just wanted to remind us that, um, at least in the discussion of our roundtable, um, we don't see this as a single <laughs> time to, to deal with this. Uh, we consider this sort of a beginning uh, conversation and understanding about what we heard this morning and what we will continue to do this afternoon. And at least tentatively, uh, we'll return to it if, in a formal way within the next 12 months. Um, you know, along the way within our roundtable um, next year. I mean, we have a full schedule of activities about um, financial resources and goals and metrics and uh, business and health and uh, community voices and a lot of those things. So I'm hoping that um, a year from now, if we do return to this general theme, we'll be, uh, you know, a lot, we'll know, have a lot more under our belts to sort of see how this uh, fits in. Before I introduce our third speaker, I just wanted to mention a number of you have asked <coughs> um, what happened to the little information gathering activity that many of you participated in. And just to let you know, at the back of the resource tab, um, Merlin also pulled together a little summary of those results, a little bit of narrative analysis of which um, almost half of you responded to. Um, and uh, actually, Listing, uh, is there's a little uh, scan, again, only limited to what those people that responded came in, but, and it's also, okay, I'm reminded this is also on our website, but a lot of movement related activities that you suggested to us are organized in the categories of research and academic initiatives, um, grant making, uh, invention, in, um, interventions, campaigns, health education policy, and, uh, idea, turn the page here, and idea trends. So you just find that as a resource. Again, it's, it's a, it is what it is. It's a survey of half of our members with their ideas about this, and hopefully we'll be building on that as we go forward. So it is my pleasure to introduce Tony Aitan as our third speaker. Uh, again, full biography is in your booklet. Um, but he is a physician, a lawyer, and an experienced public health professional, currently senior vice president for healthy communities at the California Endowment. He served seven years as the Alameda County Public Health um, Director and health officer, has worked as a HIV disability rights attorney in the Berkeley Law Center, and so many other um, activities that um, I won't take the time to list them, but it's, it's great to have him here and to give us his message, and then we'll have time for some discussion with him alone before we move on to our next panel. So thank you, Tony, for coming. Thank you. 